Thomas and Percy love working at the docks. They like the sea air and the sea breeze. And also they love the sound of the seagulls. But one day the friends were feeling hot and bothered. A crane was causing trouble. His name was Cranky and this was his first day at the docks. You, he said, looking down at the two engines, are useless little bugs. If you put your trucks on the outside line, I won't have so far to travel. We always arrange our trucks like this, snapped Thomas and Percy, and no crane has ever complained before. Well, I'm complaining now, he said, and he dumped his load on the quayside. Later, Thomas and Percy met Gordon and James. They told them about Cranky. Cranes are hairy fairy things, said Gordon. They need a lot of attention, like me, in fact. You must see the situation from Cranky's point of view, said James. He's high up in the air, coping with wind, rain and baking sun, and he looks down and sees you two engines being annoying. No wonder he calls you bugs. When he learnt that the big engines agreed with him, Cranky became bossier still. Come on, come on, he said. Push those trucks closer to me. But Percy was too tired to concentrate. And he pushed the trucks too far. Poor Percy. Cranky laughed. Later, Cranky played a trick on Thomas. Put your flatbed on the, on the uh, far line. It's easier for me to load up, he said. So Thomas did. But Cranky dumped the load beside the trucks, not in them. Hmm, you must have known that my arm can't reach you there, sniffed Cranky. This mix-up caused confusion and delay. Later, the fat controller was most annoyed. Thomas and Percy, he said, this crane has an important job to do. I have heard that you have not been helping him today. You will go to your shed and think about how you can improve yourself for tomorrow. Thomas and Percy were upset. That night a storm raged through the island. Cranky and the big engines were trapped in a yard near the docks. We're sure to be safe here, said Duck hopefully. Little did they know they were about to be put in great danger by a boat that had got out of control. It ran aground straight into the shed. the engines. I can't, said Cranky pathetically. It was daylight before the fat controller got to the scene of destruction. Thomas and Percy are coming to help you, Cranky, and then you can help the engines. Oh, please hurry, called Cranky, and tell the engines I was sorry I was rude to them. Ah, so it was you. I owe those engines an apology. Thomas and Percy soon arrived. Soon Cranky was upright again. And he cleared away the wreckage off the engines. Ah, thank you, said Gordon. I had to be rescued before I could help you. Although I never thought it'd be by a couple of but but Cranky was about to say bugs, but he quickly corrected himself. Small engines, thank you. I will never be rude again, although you two mites are in my way. Move over. Pa, he's back to bugging us, said Percy. Don't move, called Thomas. You're still attached to Cranky. 
Ah! Crank has learnt his lesson and from now on he will never call the little engines bugs or mites as he knows they might pipe back. 